Do you hear that? Hello, hello everybody, what's up? Dennis Allen here. I'm gonna take this thing off. There's some weird buzzing on my phone. When I talk, it's kind of rah, rah, rah. So I'm taking the cover off. I painted the back of it with glow-in-the-dark spray paint. So when it is nighttime, I can see my phone. It's pretty ingenious. I just like glow-in-the-dark. I didn't... Did you hear that? There's some kind of hook. Anyway, um, this is my project today. I want to get a... Um, an Amish uh, clothesline done for my drying of the clothes. Even in winter, folks, you could dry your clothes in, on, a dry, on a clothesline. The Amish do it all the time. Something's making some noise. Um, <clears throat> so I came down to my scrap wood pile. That's some over there. That's the fire pit. That's piles over there. There's just all kind of stuff. There's trees. I was even thinking about using a tree. Maybe stick a tree in the ground. Um, what I want to do is put a hammock and a... Uh, Bob, thank you. Nope, down a little. Okay, good. A uh, hammock hanging off that. From that to the... Um, Woodshed, and then from that to a tree for the clothesline. So I was thinking about using this. This is a, a bigger pole, but I don't need it that high. Um, clothesline could only be this high. That's deep enough that I'm going to go, I guess, three feet in the ground. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is my scrap wood pile. That was from the angle bean in the back of the angle bean. It was, uh, I think, one of the rafters or something. So it is being upcycled. There he is. See, it's a Millennium Falcon, like the one in the TV show, the Star Wars. He can't see. I need to get my phone fixed, people. That's what I need to do. I shouldn't be out here playing in the yard. Um, look, it's still got this stuff on it. I actually have the the things, so I'll put those back on. I should take this off while I'm transporting it, but well, we'll see how it goes. This is going to be the adventure. I have one strap on there and uh, everything else is going to be kind of scary. I got the shovel upstairs. I got the, um, the thing that you put the two things in like this and you squeeze it and you pull it up like that and you throw it away. I got one of those. That's a pole. Oh, emergency brake. The pole saw. Pole saw, no, pole digger. Something. Anyway, so let's see if this works. If you see it falling, comment below so I can stop. Oh, you know what I also want to do? You think I can fit it? Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe I'll use this. That one. I want to get a, uh, I should get a nose job because it keeps getting in the way of the camera. Those are from Quarry Fest. The Amish, uh, Henry, small engine Henry, donated these to Quarry Fest. So instead of not using them, I think it held paint. Could you tell? It's green in there, I think. See? Um, I'm thinking about making a table from the other piece of scrap wood that came from uh, the angle bean. I'm gonna throw these in here like this. What? See, and that'll actually hold this in place better. That's my theory. And then this one. See, I like those better because they have drips. Do these have drips? Oh, these have drips too. But those have nicer drips. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. I don't need the bag here. And the white one, the green one, I don't like too much. So, oh, I'm gonna put this one down. 
Ding dong, the witch is dead, folks. That's what they say, right? Isn't that the old expression? Ding dong, something like that. Uh, smells like uh, pee pee, like maybe of a dog or of a cat. But whatever. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna drive this all up. Let's see if I can actually do it. You would think all the money I paid for the videographer that the shooting would be better than this. Out of control, folks. Now I gotta put it in drive. First, look at that, it looks like a face. Let's see if anything falls. There are my beams. I'm gonna use those beams for something. Look, the nose is in the way. Did I, my nose get bigger? Um, I'm gonna use those beams. Like that. Ah! Come back to me. All right, I gotta strap this up. Get back to work. See what I did? I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, oh, you know what? I need this too. This thing, I'm using these for firewood. I'm gonna use the plastic ones so the metal doesn't rust. And uh, ah, oh, look at that. That wedges it in nice. Even better. So safe, and I'm not even trying to be. This is just. Ah. Over there. Don't judge me, folks. Don't hit the minivan. That's Mini Winnie. There's Eddie Murphy Murphy. So I think I'm gonna put this, um, should I just park right here? I guess that's good. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting uh, a rope from the woodshed to somewhere around here. This is where I'm thinking about putting the, uh, the telephone pole, that one. And then going up to that tree. So I think the angle that it dangle, if I do it to about here, this height, height, will actually actually be easy to tell. So if the rope is right there, because you know, even a short person, I want to be able to reach. You know, I might have short friends. So from here, it's going to go up. It's going to cross the road. So I don't even. Well, how tall is the minivan? So I mean, even. The minivan will be able to fit right underneath it. You know what I'm saying? So if you drive right up to the pole, you're still going to be able to clear it. But it's going to be up there into that whip, that tree. Look how the sky, it's like yellow, green, blue, white. It's like the Portuguese flag, but with different colors and different shapes. Um, so that's it. I'm going to dig... A, look at this, the bottom's even broken off. That's where, that's going to go in the hole. I'll dig the hole. I'm going to, you know, do a small one. I'm going to put some rock on the bottom. Where's the lighting? Put rock on the bottom. And then uh, put the pole. And then put the crushed rock all around it and tamper it in. Like you're making an espresso. So, we're going to see how well that holds. Because that's how I'm planning on holding my windmill up. 
just by tampered rocks instead of cement. So stay tuned after these messages. Whoops, I'm having a little snack, but I'm also gonna do this. This is the thing I was telling you about. These things, you know, they go down like that and you go shing, shizzle tang. You see them? And then you dig a hole. So I'm gonna dig a hole right here. After my cucumber break. These are from the jeweler next door. Mmm. Thank you, Richard. I'm gonna put the hammock from that pole to this pole. And then I think I'm gonna do the clothesline actually. From that tree to that tree. I think that's gonna be a lot more fun. Um I mean, even from here, well, from there I could do it. Anywhere. I want to get, like, the longest they have. So depending on what length they have is depending on how, where I'll put it. But I think I want the hammock here. At first I was thinking over there near the driveway. Somewhere over there. But, no way, Jose, I don't want to be near the cars and stuff like that. So I'm going to do it here. I'm going to dig a hole. It's going to probably take a week. So I don't think this video is going to be out for a while. Let's see. All right. All right. I don't know if it started yet. All right. It cuts me off sometimes. Bob, he goes like this. Oh, you're on, but you're on. So there's the pole. I don't have a shirt on. Sorry. Um, I didn't. I moved it over here instead of over there. I was going to put it over there, but I realized um, I'm going to, I need a way to get that way vehicles. I kind of blocked it off over here vehicle so like the four-wheeler I want to be able to drive back here this was a gar ow these things hurt oh that's pretty hallelujah 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 um this was the garbage find and I think it was Bullsburg it's a seat everything works except for that piece um, I could take that piece to the Amish place and they could make a new one in about three seconds. It's one stitching, two stitching, three stitching, and a piece of something. Um, or I could just get a board and a padding. That's probably what I'll do because I ain't fancy. I'm not gonna. That's better. Oh, that's nice. Looks like a cloud. All right, so I'm gonna move this over there. I think my battery is dying on my phone, so bear with me. Get it? Because I'm shirtless. Look, there's a the cat. That's Monkey Doodles. Monkey is a mother. Yeah, Monkey. Monkey, you want to hold the camera? I'm going to hold the camera. Oh, here we go. Oh. All right, I'm going to try to film this and drag this. Sorry for the chest shot. Oh, look, I'm taking the cardboard. Oh, you can't see it. Ah! All right, battery's dying. Going into some reserve mode. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in real quick. Look at this. I put it in there. In the hole. I dug the hole out. Holy Christ. Right. Oh, it's not working. I thought it would just go in the hole. Oh, it's not. There it is. Woo. All right, that's it. I got a pole. It's an old utility pole. Oh, it was pretty high. I didn't think it would be that high. I guess I cut it down an inch a foot. I only went down two feet. One for me, one for you. It's only going to hold two people. So a foot a person. That's what my math is. So see what I did? I made a hammock thing. Oh, that's even better. All right, I'm just gonna fill it in with little 1B stone or AB stone or just the little ones. Pound it in. I had to pound in a lot of, whoo, it's a lot of work. All right, I think that's it. Short but sweet video. Look in the garbage, folks. Look at the grapes. Those grapes are gonna grow up there. It's gonna be nice and it's gonna be, ah. All right, that's it, my battery's dying. Hasta la pasta, people. Come on, just shut off, man.